We'd heard stories about the original body buck actually existing and it had become a little bit of a myth that this thing actually was still around. Obviously we need that to be able to recreate the original car, the very first P15 V16. Rick Hall got a call from Jeffrey Marsh and, uh, and said, you better come down and have a look at this. When I was age eight or thereabouts, I used to visit and see what interesting cars were in George Grace works. And my father said to me, perhaps you'd like to sit in that BRM. And he said, that car one day is gonna be a world beater. <laughs> My name is Geoffrey Marsh and I've had a long association with motorsport and the body forming jig, the buck of the BRM which we see behind me is over 70 years old. And that original buck became the definitive shape of the first six BRMs. As people know, later on the BRM sprouted all sorts of louvers and scoops and also the later cars had a shorter wheelbase to make them more drivable. George Gray set up in business and the first job he was given was the original V16 BRM body. Of course, when there was the falling out of George with the BRM Trust, that is when it got put up in the roof of the boathouse where it was for many, many years. I went to Goodwood the very first meeting with my father to see the BRM V16 win its first two races at Goodwood. And of course that put it on the map and everybody was very enthusiastic. No one's seen that car. That car has not been built in that form for over 70 years. So it's an incredibly exciting moment for us to have that opportunity. That car is incredibly beautiful. It's sleek lines. There's something very, very pure about it. And the fact that that was the very first car that BRM produced means a great deal to the Owen family and to everyone involved at BRM. So we'd love nothing more than to see that in the flesh for the first time.